Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name's Gamenadian, and welcome to Games Guides. Today, real easy guide, I'm gonna show you where to find level 80 plus Shadow Fox mobs in Raven Dawn Online. It's my new favorite grinding spot, and it's got a lot of great bonuses for grinding there. I'm gonna show you how to get there, and I'm gonna show you the rotation. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna spawn at this respawn shrine right here in the Forsaken Mountains and we are gonna head in this direction over here. So one of the easiest ways to find this grinding spot, because it is a bit hidden, is going to be through your ranger board. The ranger board for the shadow foxes is actually pretty rare for some reason. I don't know why. So you're gonna spend a small fortune actually obtaining it. Do the free reroll. We're gonna have to roll quite a few times to get shadow foxes. It's just the way it is. I don't know why it's such a rare bouncy board. There we go, we got a small one after like 500k. You can share your ranger board quests. So if you know somebody else that grinds here a lot and they regularly do the ranger boards here, uh, you can get them to share the quest with you. And the reason why I get the quest first is because then I think it's compass highlights, yeah. So you can see here, this is the entrance to the shadow foxes. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to the entrance here. I just want to show you how to get to the entrance because it's a little bit hidden, just a little bit. So we're gonna approach from the north here and then we're gonna wrap around and there'll be a little bit of an alleyway here that we need to go through. And this is one of the benefits of this grind spot is it's kind of tucked away out of the seeing eye. So it's not super populated. So we're gonna go up the north here. We're gonna go around. Then we're going to come down here, and it's right here. As you can see, the entrance is right here. We'll come down through this alleyway. So it'll be a dust crawler right here, and then the staircase kind of hidden right here. So we're going to go down. I'm just warning you, as soon as you go down, you're going to get attacked by a couple mobs. So everything down here is above level 80. Uh, it's a great place for infusions. It's a great place for aether crystals. And it's also a great place for spool of hair. You get quite a bit of spool of hair when you're grinding here. I'm grinding on a level 75 fighter build. And you see, we could just clear it out. Um, if you're coming here before you should be coming here, I'm just going to let you know that you don't want to pull two or even three nine tails. Nine tails are the large fox. You do not want to pull two or three of them. They're quite powerful. So that was one nine tails right there. We're going to go down to the right here. Try to always, if you're struggling to grind here, just try to always keep your nine tails to a minimum. <laughs> like one. Just going to do another small pull here. And then we're going to go down the stairs. Usually you just skip these guys. If you do pull a couple nine tails, try to eliminate the nine tails before anything else. All right, we're gonna wait for our unbreakable to pop up. This is my build here. If you wanna pa pause it, it's a fighter build. And of course, okay. So the skill tree has actually been broken for a few days. Unfortunately, I can't show you my build. So I'm just gonna, I'll put I'll put the build over the video right now. I don't know why it's showing holy and wizardry. I'm definitely not using holy and wizardry. So I'll actually just, you know, cop. I'll just like bring up a screenshot of the build right now. 
this is my this is my stat distribution you know we're soft capped on weapon power i always grind every time i grind i have 150 vitality um you know these are intelligence dexterity and wisdom are all just from my stats from my gear and then this is my and then i have the boland's protection power for increases weapon defense by 30 the lost kingdom amulet which i get from ranger board um and then yeah you definitely want to come here with full mythic armor the thing about this game is the way defenses scale and stuff like that you actually want your armor to always be a higher level than your weapon um if your weapon is always a higher level than your gear then you will you'll be reaching grind spots which you can damage however the amount of damage that they do to you is going to be significantly significantly more so you actually want i know it's counter like it's different from every other game pretty much but in this game you actually want your uh your armor pieces to always be like one enhancement grade above your weapon so there'll be two nine tails in this room i'm gonna pull them and i'm just gonna target this one as you can see they do do quite a bit of damage to me but that's okay Oh, we got a we got a guildy here. Very nice. I'm just gonna party up with this guy real quick, so I don't uh, so I don't die. <laughs> we almost died there. <laughs> very nice. Very cool. I'm doing a doing a YouTube. Let's just grind. All right. This is an excellent duo spot too, so that's perfect because this is an excellent duo spot. We're gonna go down the stairs. He's gonna pull. I'm gonna make sure I have full aether. It really doesn't feel like you actually get less loot from grinding here as a duo, which is great. Oh, this guildy is really strong. We both are. And then we're going to loop all the way around. He naturally, normally he would go left and I would go right. And then we would pull both mobs from either side and then meet up up here. So that's kind of the gist of what you do. There's a few more mobs off to the right that he can pull there. Oh, we got an Aether Crystal. Perfect. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. So we're going to do an Aether Crystal. And that's pretty much the rotation. And that's Shadow Foxes. After you've grind, after you've spent, you know, 500 hours grinding at Pirates, uh, which are level 75 to 78, and you've got your uh, attack power and your defense power up, you can head on over here and start doing this spot. It's a, a little bit less busy than Pirates, which is nice. Not a lot of people are on it. Um... If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to message me on uh, in the comments. Sorry, uh, and if you want to speak with me live, I stream on Twitch about five days a week, usually at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or you can join the Discord. All of which um, access can be gained through the description in the title below i'm gonna head out i'm gonna do this crystal with the guildy here thank you for tuning in <laughs> i really appreciate it this has been a short guide a short raven dawn guide thank you for tuning in all the support that we've shown lately i i love you guys and uh we'll catch you on the next youtube video okay bye bye